Welcome to my tutorial on a behind the back 1.5 into waist wrap. Let's get started. We'll start with the right hand. You will be spinning clockwise and you're going to do an extension down to the left and then a pendulum behind your head. Do one beat behind you and go back into hip reels. Let's look at that one more time. Here's the right hand from the side. Now the left hand. You will still be spinning clockwise. It is basically just doing your normal entrance into waist wraps. So it does one beat in front of you, travels behind you, and then the ploy does another beat in front of you in waist wrap on the non-native side. One more time and from the back. Before we can put the two hands together, we have to first understand how we can transition into this move. You have to start from a position or move where the arms are crossed. So you could start it from a crosser, but I'm choosing to enter it from an archer weave. The reason your arms need to be crossed is because the right hand is the one that leads over and the left hand follows. With that in mind, let's go back to the right hand and add in what the left hand is doing, but still just using one poi. Start with your left hand under your right armpit. Let the right poi lead over with the left hand following, and then the left hand will wrap behind you and end up at your right hip. Let's see that again. And from the back. Now let's give the left hand poi some love. So your right hand is still going to lead over and your left hand follows. Pretend like you're doing a pendulum behind your head with your right hand. When you wind up in waist strap, your right hand should be behind you and your left poi should be in front of you. Putting the two poi together, you're going to start in an archer weave, and when your left hand is underneath your right arm, that's when you're going to lead over with your right poi, following with your left poi. You want to do a 1.5 behind your back. Ideally, the poi heads are matching up with each other. Finally, you should end up in a waist wrap. And from behind. If you're struggling to get your left hand behind your back and over to your right hip now that you've put the two hands together, it might be because you're forgetting to tuck the left hand under. If you don't tuck it under and you have the palm facing up, it won't work. If you're comfortable adding extra beats into your waist straps, you can do that here for an extra flare. All you have to do is after your right hand does a pendulum, instead of doing its first beat behind you in waist strap, it's going to do its first beat in front of you. Here is what that looks like from behind. The right hand has to come under the left hand to do that beat in front of you in waist strap.
Here's another variation where the pendulum stays in front of you if you're having trouble with the pendulum behind the head. In this variation, the 1.5 is happening in front of you instead of behind you. Starting in split time, same direction, the left hand does the same thing it was doing in the other variation, and the right hand does a pendulum. Here's what the right hand looks like by itself. A third variation you can do involves the same components for the individual hands as the first variation. It's just a different timing. So remember how we started with crossed arms for the first variation? Well in this one, instead of your right hand leading over, your left hand is going to be coming behind you first and then your right hand follows. With that timing, the 1.5 happens when your left hand is in waist strap in front of you and your right hand is doing the pendulum behind your head. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions.